Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Automation with Arnab. Hi, I am Arnab. Hope you guys are doing very well. So today I will discuss about WebDriver Manager. So before going to the what is WebDriver Manager and before uh, going to the topic in discussion, I don't know you guys have heard about this one or not, but I think uh, so many but uh, so many people they have already started uh, writing about this one in LinkedIn. I have seen this one. So what it is actually? What is WebDriver Manager? So what is WebDriver Manager? So the WebDriver Manager is an open source Java library actually that carries out the management of uh, download, setup, and maintenance of the driver required by the Selenium web driver. So what it is actually? So when, if you think that what it so most of our case actually, so what happened that we have to download the driver for the particular browser we are going to use for our automation. Well, we are using Selenium as an automation tool. Okay, so we have to drive a, based on the browser version. We have to put, download the particular driver and we have to place those driver into a particular path and uh, path so that it can understand the driver. Otherwise, we are getting the exception. Okay, to make these things automated, actually full of these things automated. That's why they have introduced this web driver manager feature. Okay, and this is also working in the Docker containers also. Okay. If you go to the Selenium documentation, this is the Selenium documentation. So very recently, just uh, in the last version of Selenium, so they have released this beta version. This is a beta one version. You can see that one. Okay, and it's only available from Selenium version 4.6. Okay, or greater. They have already mentioned this thing. So I have, I'll upload, uh, give, I'll give that link in the you will find this link in the video description. Okay, if you are uh, finding any challenges to find this link. Okay, if you are facing any challenge to find this link. Okay, so what they are mentioning that Selenium Manager helps you to get working, uh, to get a working environment to run Selenium out of the box. Beta one of Selenium Manager will configure the driver for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, uh, Chromium, for all of the well-known browsers actually. If they are not found on the path, the drivers are not found. So it will automatically download and it will or, and also it will configure the uh, drive uh, that driver for your project okay so no extra configuration is required in future what they are claiming that eventually if the browser is not available in your device also in your uh, system so it will download the browsers also okay so the thing is that before going to the implementation it's very easy implementation okay so what i thought that first these are the dependencies how you can download these are the special dependencies actually you have to download this uh, io.github.boni garcia so this is the developer boni garcia we have to thank him actually who developed these things actually okay and this is the uh, very required thing actually as an automation engineer we all uh, face the challenges to every time for uh, as a maintenance purpose that uh, suddenly uh, we got that we have seen that the system update the browser and the automation or running automation codes those are failing actually due to the proper driver okay so before going to the all these details first i, I am explaining the what is the back end algorithm and what is the process actually what it is doing actually in the back end so what it is doing actually web driver manager tries to find the browser version it has it contains actually some command uh, database it has so based on some command based on your system actually it is a windows or linux or mac based on that one system based on your os actually operating system it will execute the command to identify the browser version once it will identify the browser version based on that browser version what it will try it will try to find the proper driver version actually what is the driver version is required because if while we are downloading the driver uh, driver first we have to check that what is the browser version based on that driver version a uh, browser version we have to download the proper driver okay so same thing it will do and it will the process is bit different for each driver actually because we have to follow the manually we have to there is a different different website where we can download these things so same thing like that okay it will do the automatically this one once the driver version is discovered if what it will do it will download the driver and it will place into a local cache okay finally what it will do that it will once it will place the drive download the driver and place the dr downloaded drive into the local cache it will export that particular path and it set the system in the system properties so that the code base when it will require so that it can use okay if i am going back to the 
our old way so what it will do hard coded that we have to give that like the system dot set property in that way we have to give the path to the chrome driver okay after that we can call this one okay now this is not required just these two line of code is required to use the web driver manager what we have to give that we have to import this class and to import this class as i have already mentioned here that you have to add this dependency uh, yes i know that uh, some of our uh, we need we they are using some of our friends uh, so most of us not some of most of us we are using the local maven repository for our companies actually due to security purpose we are not able to access the maven central repository that is open source so i am uh, expecting that in future they selenium they will include these things into their selenium bucket okay but as of now if you want to use this one you have to add this dependency that by expectation what i am talking about okay and if i am going to the implementation what it will do that two lines of code as you can see that one first line is that web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay so once you will call this setup method okay so behind in the behind picture that i have mentioned that first it will what it will do <coughs> it will download the uh, it will first it will find the browser version based on the browser version in the second step it will find the driver version in the third process it will download the driver and place into the cache and in the fourth step it will get the uh, export the path and it will set the path in the system properties okay so once we call this setup method all these things all that four step i have explained to you guys that uh, that will happen in the behind the picture okay and once we call this one so you can see that here in this class i didn't mention anywhere any system that driver or nothing okay and in the uh, after that i'm just calling the chrome driver and then i start working on that one that everything rest is the same actually okay so let's try to run this one that chrome session let's see what will happen but remember that this is a beta 1 as they are claiming so this is a just beta version this is not a stable version you guys can see that that chrome open and it closed okay this will same thing happen for age also let me try to run the age age open and it open the browser the link i have provided that google.com okay so this is the way you can implement this one this is a very easy one line of code we have to use okay so this is it okay so if you guys have any question any doubt on this one this web driver manager please do a comment on this video okay and i'll try to explain this one and if you like this one please share with others and please do subscribe my channel also so that you can you guys can get the latest update on the automation whatever is available in the market okay and thank you